Hi there. Um, uh, now I'm sweating. So, have, jeez. Of all things, my Mac, comp uh, my MacBook camera came on, and the other camera's on, so they're, they're both on, and they're competing, and it's really bothering me, because I don't, I don't know what to do. So, I'm just going to leave it be like this. I hope it looks okay. I don't know what to say. I have a light there, but does it really matter? No, I guess not. Because this is just a different thing. Um, I got the AC on, so I put some stuff in my hair. Because, sheesh. I want to be careful taking clips out. I don't want to rip your... This clip up here is up. Well, not this one. This one here, though, is a very powerful, thin clip that you just gently, gently, look at that, it's just thin. And, yep, we're a mess, but that's okay. There's nothing in there, it was just put up, so that's why it looks this way, how ridiculous. Okay, today is a bit of a different video. Let me get this AC off of me. What's new? As usual, you're gonna hear the same thing from me right now. It's very, very hot outside. Very, very hot outside. I have nothing in the hair, so it should be fine. It's smooth, I don't know. Gee whiz, gee whiz, gee whiz. Um, wasn't doing much of anything out there. Except mopping the floor, and that was just fine earlier. Okay, so forget beauty products and forget all that good jazz for now, because a friend once said to me, "What all do you take? What all do I take?" Here comes the allergies. What all do I take? Um, give me a small clip. What all do I take? Um, you see how dull my hair looks? This, I used that freaking Tresemme conditioner and a very cheap shampoo. And this is how my hair looks. This is what it'll do. So I need to run something through it later. No doubt about that. Okay, um, first of all, I don't take all these every day. <laughs> Not even every week, not all of these. It's just way too much. Um, I'm gonna show you, where's my vitamin D? Okay, this is what I started with, vitamin D3. That's an English Canadian, um, vitamin D3. These, I got to use a lot of them before I really started feeling sick to my stomach after taking them, so. I don't take them. I'm going to start going back to um, maybe half of one with a good meal and my vitamin D3 that I put on last night before bed. <clears throat> uh, where did I put it on? I don't even think I used it last night. I think I forgot. I do. Well, typically it goes in soft areas belly button's a big place because you know, so everything gets sucked up in there, but if you want it to um, so I'm going to try half because this is a thousand I use I won't absorb it all but I'm going to be getting some vitamin D I cannot stop my vitamin D because that's what caused the hair loss and I'll be going for labs in now it'll be, I think, two months. It was six, now it'll be two months coming up, maybe. So I use the I use this faithfully, daily or nightly. Forgot last night, I believe. But I do use this. This is vitamin D3, made by Jameson. I don't know if we make it here in the USA because it comes from Canada, but it has American on the other side. But if we do, it it's 
It's good. It's not coated though. It's not coated. It's a tablet. I think I'll show it to you. I got a lot to go through, so I'll I'll rush. I'll rush. Yeah, it's well, no, it's not coated. It's like an aspirin. It's just not coated. That's not my problem now. I've tried the coated ones and the gels, and guess what? Still don't feel well. Um, yes. I'm big on taking garlic. I don't do it every day, but I probably do it three times a week. It's good. It's it, it's not to fix anything. It's to just help promote um, inside the body. Garlic is good for your body, and this contains the active ingredient allicin. That is what you get when you just slice up a raw garlic and don't cook it and just eat it. If you can, I can. Um, it's just, it's good for the body. It's good for the blood. It's good for your blood. I'm not going to say it's good for your heart because I'm not a doctor. I, I don't know. But I do know I read that it's good for the blood, which kind of thinning for the blood, I read. Um, so be careful if you're on aspirin. Don't, don't, don't do any of this period without talking to your doctor. But I do, I do do this garlic. I love it. it. It's a gel cap, so it doesn't taste like garlic. You're not getting any garlic in you, but and you can't smell it. But if you want, you can open that capsule I have in the beginning and pour a little bit on your food and eat it. I prefer real garlic, which I have, so I'm probably getting too much garlic. I'm getting a lot of garlic. Thank God it's a food that won't hurt you. Okay, magnesium. Pure, made by Pure. It's magnesium, and I got two cameras running, so, jeez. Okay, these guys. <laughs> this, yeah, um, magnesium citrate. Yeah, magnesium citrate. You know what that makes you do? Magnesium citrate. Magnesium. First of all, if you deplete your magnesium completely, your heart stops. You die. You go into heart failure. Magnesium, if you deplete it. I know. It happened to my sister when I worked at the hospital. She was an alcoholic. Um, she wouldn't take her potassium, and she wouldn't take her magnesium. They upset her stomach. This can upset your stomach. Eat with it if you take magnesium. Some people have no problem. But this, These are big, and I can't even see the milligrams on them. But there's 90 capsules, blah, 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 blah. Um, they're big. It's been around a while. 120 milligrams. Okay. And magnesium is good, but you know you've reached your limit when you start to go to the bathroom. People, <laughs> I'm a firm believer. God, it's dark on this one side. I'm a firm believer in people who are going to get colonoscopies should be taking magnesium. It's just short time, it's short duration. I mean, it's gonna clean you out and you're gonna to go to the bathroom and you're not taking something full of antifreeze unless we've gotten better than that by now. I don't know. But magnesium citrate will make you go to the bathroom. And I do not take one of these a day because I'm getting magnesium with my vitamin D3. Man. Jeez, and I'm sorry, I apologize for all that. Vitamin D3 cream with magnesium oil free. So I'm getting enough vitamin D no matter what. And magnesium, got that. Okay, my favorite vitamins. This is my favorite vitamin. It's one a day, women's petites. You take two a day. You're getting, you're getting a lot you're getting a lot on these. You're getting a lot on both sides. It's all listed. Two cameras, I'm not working. Um, that's it. It's kind of coated. Will not upset my stomach. Doesn't bother me. I take one in the morning. I take the other one at night because you're supposed to take two a day. Um, these are great for women and they have them for men. And I think they made them this way for people who can't swallow pills. I don't have that problem, but these are excellent vitamins. I bought this one, Alive, for women's. Uh, it's women, 50 plus. Um, I don't like it. 
It's got, you know, like, I don't need, I don't want all this other stuff. Cranberry, cranberry juice, cherry, cherry juice. I just, no. So, and not enough in here that I'm getting out of my women's day. My one a day, rather, for women's, I get more out of it than I'm getting out of this. So I want to absorb more. So I use this over this. Every now and then though, I'll just reach for this instead because it's a change up and take one instead. Like with Centrum. I like Centrum. Um, this is with Centrum Women 50 Plus. Supports heart, brain, eye, and bone strength. 200 tablets multivitamin, multi-mineral supplement. It's 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 kind of loaded. Um, you know, the vitamin D, I was looking for the vitamin D and the zinc and all that is is a little on the lower side even from taking this. A little lower than this. So, again, this is not my go-to. This is my go-to and I'm forever buying these. But every now and then, you change it up and I'll take a women's centrum 50 plus 200 tablets which I probably still have a hundred left so not big on that not big on that then does anybody take CoQ enzymes it's expensive these are expensive wow they're expensive um, I'm not faithful to these every day come on out they're gooey they're fun to play with but you're just supposed to take them. Uh, good for your heart. Good for your heart. Good for heart health, um, heart support. But if you're on blood pressure or heart medications, again, talk to your doctor. Don't just go and pop it out and you know, bang it. Um, a key nutrient that will help maintain a healthy heart. So, yeah, be careful. Doctors usually tell you, yeah, and by the way, I'm gonna put you on this medication go ahead and buy this. I just take this because it's heart health it's, and it's good. It's good. It works. Okay. Now we're kind of, we're going to pipe down a little, well, yeah, we're going to pipe down a whole lot for a second. Oops. Blistex. These things are cool. Can you get four? Five, I guess. I don't know. Five pack. I love them. These I haven't used because there's no reason, but the other ones are, I carry one in my purse, have one in the bathroom. Minty, menthol-y, feels good on the lips. Don't get chapped lips. You, did you ever get chapped lips? No, why? Because I think I'm addicted to this. And I often heard that this contains an ingredient that you can become addicted to, where if you stop it, you will develop chapped lips here. Your lips don't feel like they do with this on. So, hey, I don't care. It's just, it's my lips and this, my doctor said, this is not going to, you know, don't worry about it. Keep using it. If it's working, it's working. I burned my lip with a, a piece of a fork and, uh, hey, it's now going away. I'm great. Okay. This, this is for women, not men. This is progesterone. Um, progesterone cream, Natural Harmony. I think I spoke of this before. Maybe I showed it once. I don't think I showed it, but I talked of it. Um, I can go to a compound pharmacy and I can have progesterone cream made up and it's going to cost me a fortune. My insurance will not cover it. It did once and then it will not. Why? Because according to them, no matter what test results say, no matter what, we're sorry, but we do not cover anything hormonal, estrogen, testosterone, progesterone, all those good things, all of it. They do not cover. So the next best thing, you start researching until you find the right one. Um, typically made out of wild yams, but has gone through a process. It's gone through a very deep process where, yes, I had breasts that were so sore I could not put a bra on it was bad I started rubbing this on my breasts and 
I'd say it took about half a year or longer and the sore breasts went away. I went for my mammogram and the, uh, yes, I went for a mammogram. I actually had a biopsy done on a lump that they gave me a 50-50 if it was cancer. Have you taken estrogen? No. Well, estrogen typically would cause ovarian cancer. No, it protects your ovaries, does not protect your breasts. Estrogen can cause, I'm not a doctor. Again, here we go. I'm not a doctor. Disclaimer, I am not a doctor. Too much estrogen in a woman's body is bad news, but you need it to a point. I was estrogen heavy. I knew it by the breasts that were killing me, by the cramps I was having. It just was horrid. So, progesterone. Oh, and I had an ovarian cyst. And then I had um, a cyst in my breast where I had to actually go in for a biopsy on that, which was very intrusive. It was, it was, it was tough, but in the end, I would do it again. Um, so when I told them that I'm going to use this, and this is before I really started using this, I'm um, rubbing it on my breasts, my OBGYN said, hey, it's progesterone. You know, like when you're pregnant, your body kicks up so much progesterone, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't even realize. And then when you have your child, your progesterone plummets and your estrogen starts coming up. There goes your hair loss. See, when you're pregnant and you have that glow and you have that thick, beautiful hair and that energy after you get over the morning sickness, the energy, you just kind of feel good, you look good, um, it's progesterone. But then after you have the baby, progesterone goes down real low. Estrogen starts coming up much higher. Women often complain of hair loss at that time, and it is a real thing. Estrogen will cause hair loss. Um, estrogen will cause cancer of the breasts, but it can protect your ovaries and other things. I'm not a doctor. This is what I was told. This is what I use. I use natural harmony. I'm not telling you to do it. Don't do it. Talk to your doctor. They can prescribe you. Maybe your insurance will cover it. I'm in Florida. There's a lot of stuff that's not covered that should be. Um, and so I found the next best thing. After going through a lot, a lot of progesterone creams that, this ain't doing nothing. My breasts are killing me. I mean, they hurt so bad, I wanted to wrap them. It was bad. Finally, I found this. And when I use it faithfully, and I do, I feel good. I have no cramps, no cramping, like you're gonna bust a period, but I'm not. So I'm in my 60s, I'm not gonna bust a period. But you feel like you're going to, like your uterus is just like working. Um, this is not for men, by the way, so please, if this is gross, just bang out. Um, but this really puts nice progesterone in you. Um, you'll know, some people will know, don't overdo it, read, the directions on any progesterone that you may be buying over the counter. Um, I used a lot in the beginning because I was desperate. I was getting a little lightheaded. I was feeling groggy. I was getting tired, all due to progesterone, too much. Consult your doctor before doing any of this. Best vitamin for you, yes, especially this. Consult your doctor don't, this is just what I do. Don't do what I do. Don't do as I say. Just listen. This is what I do. Okay, now we have our magnesium body butter with vitamin D. I like it. I remember it back in the day and then forgot all about it. It's nice. Wow, talk about smelling like a box that's been sitting in the rain. You do. And I've used a lot, like I've showed before, I think. But it's very, yeah, and you gotta love it. I do. So I just take it, put it where the veins are. It's not gonna absorb into my skin like my progesterone. This you put on, you wouldn't know, but you, you shake it and you pump it and you, and you rub it in, it's gone. 
goes right in, it's gone. It's not in the air, it's in your body, it's gone. This is butter, okay? So it's gonna behave like butter, which is weird. Um, so it's tacky, sticky, and it will stay on your skin. So I have to be careful when I use this and where I put it. So I mainly put it where there's no hair hanging. Where would that be? The back of the inside of my calves, thin skinned, and that's where I put it. And yes, I feel it, but I go to bed with it, so. Good stuff, but not good for the hands, because the hands are gonna stay a little oily. But I don't care. I'm so used to all this stuff, I don't even care anymore. Okay, this is another thing that I never got to use on YouTube yet. Vitamin B12 cream, why? Because I'm not ready for the vitamin B12 shots. After you receive a shot, my sister used to get them because she did not eat, um, she drank, that was her food. And I remember when she went for the B shots, the B12 shots, and I took her. And after she got her shot, she had to sit there for 15 minutes and she'd say, oh my God, I feel like I want to run a marathon. I feel like I want to just, I'm like, that's why you have to sit here because this is now getting in your system. And they tell her it's gonna wear off in about five to 10, well, 15 minutes. They let you leave in like 15 minutes, but you have to sit there and wait. They don't want you behind the wheel acting like a race car driver. You know, they don't want you going down the road, sprinting like you're an expert, you know, jogger, marathon runner, whatever. They don't want you acting like American Pharaoh, the racehorse, who I love. Thank God he's done racing. I don't like horse racing. Um, <laughs> to throw that in. This is made by Life Flow. It's vitamin B12. And you're, who you, oh, that's Anumed. Okay, so they're made by different companies, but this has served me well. It's red, and it comes out red. Red, that's the tip, yeah. And it comes out red on your skin. And it's like the butter, it's tacky. So you wanna use it fresh out of the shower, and you wanna put it somewhere where it's not gonna really bother you or rub off. Like, let it kinda dry for a while, although it, Oh, it does dry, it dries. It stays tacky for a little while, but it's it's going to dry. It does dry, but it's red, so you don't use a full pump. You wanna use a little bit, and you wanna rub it in on your soft part of your skin, right? Soft part, and you wanna rub it in, and then you wanna let it sit, and then you wanna rub it, and it eventually does go into the skin. That's what it's made to do, and it's proven so, and it does. Don't do it without consulting your doctor. When I had, I had two nodules on my thyroid. Now remember, when I had all this crap going on, the hair loss and all this stuff, I was living on ice cream, literally. My diet was poor. I probably, look, I'm five foot nine, and I think I weighed 110 pounds, which is so skinny for me. Uh, and it didn't look good. And I had very long, thin, scraggly hair, and I, people used to tell me, you need to eat, friends, and other people who were strangers, one guy, one time I got into an elevator, and a gentleman said, um, I don't think the elevator is going to go up, you don't weigh enough, I'll never forget that, and he was so nice, but he was joking, but still, he made me think, I need to eat, so I did, I went out and I bought some books, and I can cook, and I eat sometimes too much. But um, anyway, yeah. This is J. Crows. It's um, iodine. I had nodules on my thyroid. I went to a doctor who said I had hypo. Hypo means sluggish or slow thyroid. I'm like, gosh. You know, let's just add one more thing into the basket of eggs that's rotten, right? So I came home and I read and I read and I read and I read. I didn't YouTube anything. I just read from doctors and science and read where people were using this and they were putting it on their wrists and rubbing it in and letting it dry. I did that for a while and then I got into another scientific page or paper area that said do a couple drops on your wrists 
this is the best place, there's veins. And then spray magnesium so it won't absorb in the air. And just kind of, and you shouldn't feel any itch either. And I did not. I started doing this. Because I had nodules on both sides of my thyroid at the time, and I was very hoarse, like I had smoked, I don't know, three packs of cigarette a day, cigarettes a day for my whole life. I mean, I, I had a, a horrible voice. Um, I mean, I, really, it was just like so rough and harsh. Um, I didn't know it was wrong, and I had a lot of like phlegm, and I'm like, this is just, a, I don't have a sore throat, but of allergies? I did have allergies, but that wasn't the problem. He took, I went to a um, ears, nose, and throat specialist, okay, who will look and see if there's anything going on in here, at least in here. So he took a scope with lidocaine on it, yet, yeah, which you burn like crazy, and you're sitting there going, I'm not going to move because he's saying, don't move, don't move, and I'm like, I'm not moving. So it went up, and then he can come down, and he can keep going down. And he went down far enough where he could take a few pictures. He took a few pictures and he said, there's nothing going on with your nose or your, you know, I can come like to your throat area, but your thyroid is down here. It's like a little butterfly shaped doohickey organ. He couldn't, he couldn't. So he said, I would recommend that you go for a MRI or ultrasound and have them look at your thyroid. That could be your problem because Okay, I'll give you something for allergies, but, yeah, um, okay, so I came home and I started reading and reading, and that was what got me involved in fish, eating fish, kelp, oh my god, kelp made me almost throw up, I can't do kelp, kelp is good, but kelp can throw you the other way, um, from hypo into hyper, and you don't want either one, that's bad, so I did just enough of this, I guess, um, and read and read and researched and couldn't get my nose out of those damn books and just kept on doing it until I had my day where I was an outpatient at the hospital and I was back there and my blood pressure was real high because I was super scared and the doctor says just breathe and calm down I'm gonna numb you on your throat Ugh. oh god well you feel like you can't swallow or anything imagine that that's got to be bad. Um, and um, then they're going to inject a needle on each side to see if there's, if it's cancer, if it's, what's, what, what's going on. When they first put up the ultrasound doohickey to look and find the nodule, he said, you have what's normal in the majority of people in the world for the Western culture. You have minute where nothing's happening I we couldn't even get to it I can't even say I can even get the little needle to that why bother so I came home and I called my doctor and I told him he said what did you do I said well I started eating fish cod and salmon and I started iodine he said all right be careful with the iodine it can throw you from being hypo where I was tired hair was brittle growing in, hair was falling out a little bit, not a whole lot, nails wouldn't grow, everything was just just a, a wreck. I felt bad. I felt really bad. Um, iodine's okay every now and then, but you're getting iodine out of salt, iodized salt, which he didn't recommend because salt raises blood pressure and makes you hold fluid and every time I went to the doctor's office I had blood pressure because I just am nervous you know I don't want to go for surgery or this stuff I, I don't want to do it I was very nervous so he said but that's why we started putting iodine in salt because people were getting goiter way back in the day now it's iodized salt be, he said, you're going to do this, and I'm not going to stop you because I can't, but be very careful. So I did. I weaned myself off of this, and I went to fish only, fish that's higher in iodine. Salmon is. Salmon's really good. So And cod. I just like cod. So um, did I cure myself? 
Probably not. Did I help myself? Absolutely. I helped myself. Could it come back? Of course. Um, he was surprised that, you know, by doing the iodine every day and trying to help myself by reading scientific papers that I didn't go the other way and, and develop hyper, um, hypo, yeah, I forgot the word, I'm thinking of hypertension, which is high blood pressure, instead of hypo for your thyroid, hyper is, you're going to be rubbed up, you're still going to lose your hair, you're still going to feel like crap and all that, but I didn't go that way, I forgot the term I was using, but either way, it's a lot to go through, don't do it, I don't recommend it, eat fish if your doctor says eat fish, eat fish anyway, if, if you're not allergic, because fish is good for you. I don't like meat. I don't, I don't do meat. That's why I do vitamin B12. And eventually I might go for B12 shots. I don't know. But right now my B12 is great on my labs. But I, I'm not going to eat hamburger and stuff. I, I don't like it. I just don't like it. So, but I do do fish. And the reason I do do fish is because of my thyroid. I want to take care of it. And sugar is and I have a thing about Milky Way bars I love Milky Way bars bad it's sugar so that's my thing I stopped the ice cream I haven't had a soda in I think six or seven years I haven't had a soda no soda that's good for me I used to like Pepsi every now and then and no soda I don't do soda um, so who needs it and after I took a sip one day it tastes like crap. You really do go there. It it tastes bad. So I'm hoping to start doing that with chocolate. So I have chocolate out there. Lint. I think it's pronounced lint. Uh, that is 90% cocoa. It's like eating dirt. But you're getting that chocolate in you. Which is better for you. There's less sugar. And I have a mint a weakness for a Milky Way and there's two out there and I'm just so I'm trying coming off of chocolate I'm gonna say it is like coming off of heroin I don't know what coming off of heroin's like but they liken it to that coming off of a massive drug street drug Wow I did that to myself okay another thing I do take ultra strength 12 strain okay 30 billion of them which are probably not alive after sitting in here that's just, I'm not a pessimist. It's, it's, it's life. It's the way it is. Um, it's for gas, bloating, <laughs> constipation, abdominal discomfort, and irregular, irregularity, um, which is fine because it's a digestive probiotic. Everybody should take a probiotic. Why? Because we're putting good bacteria back in our guts, back in the gut. That's what we need to eat. Especially if you take antibiotics, your doctor should recommend or you should ask, well, should I take a probiotic if I'm on an antibiotic? Antibiotic kills bad um, bacteria, and then it kills good bacteria too because it can't, it doesn't know the difference to it. Bacteria is bacteria, so it kills it all. So if you're on an antibiotic, you should be taking a probiotic. I'm not on antibiotics and haven't been in a long time and hope not to be, but take a probiotic. These I do take once a day, and these are strong. This is by Nature Made. Um, they're good. I mean, gas, no. Bloating, eh, no. I just eat. Um, constipation, no. Abdominal discomfort, no. Irregularity, no. But did I ever have that before this? I don't think so. But everybody should take a probiotic because they're good for your gut. Unless you have some illness that does not allow you, talk to your doctor. I don't know. I think I know somebody, I do know somebody with Crohn's disease, but I don't, I'm not sure if he can have a probiotic. I don't know about that. There's a lot of things he can't do. So I don't know if he can have a probiotic or not. I'm trying to, okay, we got three left, we're almost done. The, oh, okay. My allergies, my allergies. Flonase, over the counter now, not cheap but over the counter. Yes, I use it. But the key to Flonase is you cannot use it every single day until it's gone. You can use it for a few days and stop. 
because it builds up in the system and it keeps on working. That's what it does. This was by prescription from my doctor. Is my name on that? Not that it matters. Um, but this is by prescription. <laughs> Let me hide the paper anyway, because I don't know. Um, by my doctor. So I had to pick this up. They're related. They both have the same ingredient, believe it or not. But this is a steroid. I don't know if Flonase is a steroid, but it sure has the active ingredient this one has, which is a steroid. So I think they're both steroids, but they finally just decided to throw this over the counter. Um, if you have insurance and you have bad nasal allergies, like you've seen me on here sneezing my guts out, literally, wow, I had a headache after that, sneezing. This is good for nasal allergies. It will bang them out. I just don't use it enough, actually, and I haven't even opened this yet. So, yes, allergies. Got to see your doctor. Ask for it. Or they just might prescribe it, period. It's nasal spray, so Flonase is related. Just tell them you want the one that's related to Flonase. The same ingredient. They'll know. They'll know. And you'll get it um, if you have nasal allergies. In Florida, I don't know anybody who doesn't have allergies around here. One last thing. And you don't want to do that, what I'm just talking about, with ZZ oil. Is the active ingredient in this is what's in Benadryl, which takes away allergies. But ZZ Quill nighttime sleep aid. Yes, if I'm having, I often will get insomnia. And I'm up and I'm walking around and I'm laying here and I'm looking at the ceiling, which I can't see, it's pitch black. It's just listening to noises outside. It's crazy, insane. Um, sometimes I have a lot on my mind. I can't shut off the mind. ZZ Quill has helped me with that. Nothing else has. Um, they wanted to prescribe uh, Ambien. I said no. My mother took Ambien. She said she had the worst dreams of her life. And the next day she was so drowsy she just didn't want to eat. No. 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 I have my mom's DNA in me. I don't, I don't want to go down that road just in case. I No. I've heard some pretty weird things about Ambien. Um, for some people, they really like it and it works and I'm happy. But for other people, I'm not happy that it does that to them. But ZZ Quill does nothing to you. Um, it tastes good, it's got a great, I think this is the grape one. A berry, okay, berry. Um, nighttime sleep aid, it says. And yes, you feel it and yes, before you know it, I'll be laying here watching TV, and I'll be yawning, and I'll be like, ah, oh, it's kicked in. Um, I tend to use a little bit more than I should. Do not do what I do, please, ever. Um, I mean, I'm not, that was not one night. <laughs> that was definitely not one night. Um, but, I just, that little extra sip, because I, am hard to fall asleep at times. It's sometimes real hard to fall asleep. I've got my old, I lost one of my dogs recently and um, you want to talk about someone doing CPR until there was like the sternum was probably all messed up. I'm trying to bring him back and uh, I have an old guy here. i show you. I'm afraid my camera's going to mess up but I'll show you at the end in case it does. He um, is by my side constantly. He's a dachshund poodle. Um, we have other dogs. We have a standard schnauzer who's just, wow. Talk about a dog that should have been a police dog. That's that one. But this little guy here, wherever I go, he's right there looking at me, wanting to be with me, talking to me with his eyes. He's going to let me know when he's had enough in life. He's going to let me know. Um, he's 17 years old. And he's going to let me know when he's done. That's what I'm waiting for. Because he and I, we make eye contact. And usually when you make eye contact with a dog, they don't like it. That's confrontation in the dog world. But this is your own dog. And even though some of your own dogs don't like it, right? You sit there and you do the eye confrontation thing. And they're looking at you. And the next thing they're doing this, they're doing it. Bad sign. Bad sign. Don't do it. But he and I, he'll sit on the floor when I'm out there um, at the table eating my dinner or 
cleaning, going through papers. Uh, I have to take care of the bills around here. That's my job to uh, sort them out so everybody could pay their share. Um, he'll be sitting there and little head looking up at me. And it, as they get old, I called about the wobble he has. They said because he's 17, his neck muscles are weak. He'll eventually just lay it down. And he does. But still his eyes are looking up at me. And so I'll stop and I'll sit there and I'll go like this at him. And he's looking at me. And we're just having a conversation through our eyes. You know? That's, that's exactly what we're doing. We're just having our own conversation. This, this dog has been the longest dog I've ever owned, 17 years with me. I don't know any way to live without him. And um, I don't know how life is gonna be without him. And um, we have, I go to the bathroom. He's gotta come. If I close the door, it's like, can I have some privacy, Jackson? You know, his name is Jackson, I call him Jaxie. Um, and he can't hear too well, so. But no, oh no, 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 no. He'll give his little old bark outside the door. Okay, I gotta open the door. I gotta come in here and lay on the towel. Because there's a towel in there for him. <laughs> you know, no privacy for a woman. No privacy. But that, you know, I don't mind. Because he's a dog. And he just talks to me with his looks. And... I know he's going to let me know when he's had enough, when he's too tired. Then it's not the fact that one day he's just going to flip out and not be able to get up or freak out or have a, he may have a stroke, he may have a heart attack. His best friend, who was a, a schnauzer, a mini schnauzer, had a heart attack at my feet, just barking, at my feet, dropped. Um, he may. Why wouldn't he? He's tw uh, 12, 17. Um, but I have a feeling this guy here is just going to give me a look one day where I have to make a decision. I got off of topic. It is ZZ. Yeah. A Z Z Z quill. Z Z Z quill. Really, it's, it's my sleep aid. It works for me. I could take a Benadryl and pass out. I mean, hell. But then I wake up all dry. This, I don't, because there's other stuff in it, so I don't think it's as powerful as taking a Benadryl. It will quiet. I've tried it before. It will quiet allergies a little, but it won't stop me in my allergies where a Benadryl will. But Benadryl puts me in bed now, and I wake up dry, and I wake up feeling icky. This does not do that to me. This is pretty mild stuff, but it, it puts you to sleep. I like it. And that was the end of my products. I don't use them all every day, especially those vitamins. I mean, I don't, oh, and one thing I wanted to say, the vitamin D3, I have vitamin C in the same exact bottle, and I love them. But I don't know where they went. I hope my landlord didn't eat them because they taste so doggone good. And they're big, and well, they're big, like really big and round, like a moon, and they're chewy, and, they're good. They're very good. But I'm going to go out there and eat some grapes. <laughs> so maybe I'll get some some vitamin C out of that. I don't know. I'm not big into oranges because oranges, I don't know. I just, I used to be. I don't drink any orange juice. I don't drink any juices. I want to eat the food. If I drink the juices, I get shaky. And I asked my doctor. My doctor said, of course you will. Because you just downed a crap load of sugar you're going to get shaky chew your food break it down with your saliva you turn it into fiber and swallow it and you won't get shaky doctor was right pretty smart doctor this stuff never goes on my hands it bothers me um so that's, that's the day. It's a long video again. I apologize. I want to make them shorter. I'm done with the hair care products because I have more. None done with them. You all know what I need about hair, right? This has just been tied up and it's going to get tied up again. Um, these all got to be put away. Um, don't, please, 
don't do what I do. I hope you'll take a multivitamin, but ask your doctor which one's right for you. I've been on prescription multivitamins before. I actually was a prescription prenatal with the hair loss. Didn't help, it was vitamin D is my problem. But hey, my doctor tried until I got my labs back. Um, everything here is what you buy over the counter except for this nasal spray, which is related to Flonase. It's pretty much the same thing, the pharmacist said. I'm like, oh, this was free, insurance paid. This was expensive, insurance did not pay. Damn, if only I knew at the time. Oh, that's probably why it's not open. I haven't used it. But everything else, iodine. You get iodine from eating good fish or kelp or whatever you may like. So just remember that. And don't go and do what I do with this because my doctor warned me that, that could, you can be going down a road that you really don't want to go down. And they'll have to try to fix it. And their way of fixing it may not be a way that I like to fix it. Um, garlic. One thing I mentioned about garlic, one thing I did not mention about garlic is it, even though it's in a capsule, it can give you heartburn. It can give you heartburn. I've had that happen. In the beginning, it's happened. It's in a capsule. This capsule gets down in there. Eventually, it's like, oh, I got heartburn. Yeah, it can give you heartburn. So, you know, things come with side effects. They do. Um, magnesium. That's not the magnesium, but the magnesium, which is good for the heart. We need this for our heart. Magnesium and potassium. We need these for our heart. The reason my sister died, that the first thing the cardiologist told me when I was sitting across the room after she died crying, he said, I apologize. He said, I apologize. He said, I'm very sorry. Um, we were not able to bring her back. And I said, what happened? He said, she depleted her magnesium. She was not taking her magnesium or her potassium. Her magnesium depleted from her heart. When you deplete magnesium from your heart, your heart stops. So talk to your doctor about it. But if you're on heart meds or anything like that, please don't listen to me. Talk to your doctor about magnesium because this is magnesium citrate, first of all, over the counter, and it makes you go to the bathroom. Therefore, you're never constipated. But you don't want to be, you know, um, going to the bathroom and losing all you know what your medication is supposed to be doing for you either so you have to talk to your doctor a lot of these do not work in combination you got to use them on different days different weeks whatever you can't use them all together like three different vitamins really no I would be throwing up and I know that for a fact it's just too much it's way too much of something in it that's going to bother me all right, long video, but thank you for listening. Um, I've got two cameras running. I don't know which one's going to take. So if it looks like a crappy video, I apologize beforehand. Um, don't know why. I was talking to this damn MacBook forever saying, I don't want to say it because it'll probably hear. Because sometimes you don't have to push that little button up there. It'll just do it. And I was telling it to turn off the camera on this damn thing. And it would... And, I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, you really do, but you know, you're just being a little dense right now. Technology. Ah, God. Okay, so that's me for today, and that's how things are going in life. This, that was all my hair stuff. 50%? <laughs> no, I'd say 90%. The rest is just all nothing. Just older conditioners and older shampoos. That's that's all that's left in the hair stuff. So we're done with that. This is what I take. This is what I do. Not big on this. I would never buy it again. Um, because, look, I don't need grape juice and cherry juice. and all, I don't need all those juices. I just need the vitamins. I need the nutrients. Um, I can go buy cherries and get nutrients. And eat cherries um, and all that. Grapes. I always eat grapes. Those are my snacks. I love grapes. Um, blueberries. I eat blueberries. I don't need blueberry juice. I need all these juices in here. I just don't need it. I don't need it. But thank you. Subscribe is on this side. I've got this right. Subscribe is down here. Please subscribe. Videos. I can't take you outside. It's raining. It's raining. 
so I really apologize and my camera is being wonky so um, I'll take you outside I did it once it was short-lived but we'll do it again we'll do it again and the backyard is different the back of the house looks different everything looks so much different um, because we're going to be moving more North Florida like way North Florida I can't wait I don't want to, I don't to get there is gonna suck I almost want to fly um, because I don't want to take the drive I don't want to be on the interstate I don't want to do that but if I have to I will Ugh. maybe I'll need my ZZ quill at that point and I'll sleep it because I don't I don't want to be on the interstate I hate the interstate I literally hate the interstate anyway especially if there's an accident you're stuck for a long time oh my god I'll never forget that once we had a train because there's train tracks not far from here and when you want to go shooting you have to cross the train tracks and get over to the other side and go way up and it's a heck of a drive and when you get there it's all great but one day we hit a train and the train they're not small they're so damn long it's like is there another way around so we we turned around we hit the highway which is a highway and went way up north where the train had not hit yet and got across and had to drive all the way back down that train was long I don't impatient a little bit in traffic I think I could sit there and, and read a book and be fine but I don't want to sit there waiting for a train that looks like it's going to stop on the tracks. Shit, man. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you soon. This is the longest video. I'll talk to you soon. Please subscribe. Shorter videos in the future. I always say it. Gosh, I'm the biggest liar going. Isn't that terrible? Take you outside when it's not raining. I promise. I promise. I promise. And I promise. Okay. Goodbye.